Today, a powerful 7.7 magnitude earthquake struck central Japan, causing widespread evacuations, fires, and the stranding of residents beneath the debris of their homes as others frantically sought higher ground due to tsunami warnings. Just after 4 p.m. local time, 7 a.m. UK time, a total of 21 earthquakes with a magnitude of greater than 4.0 were felt. Videos that were posted on social media and aired on Japanese TV revealed how buildings in Suzu, a city near the epicenter of the strongest quake, crumbled and wide fissures started to emerge in the roads. The strongest affected prefecture, Ishikawa, had a big fire in Wajima City as a result of the earthquakes. Local television showed horrifying pictures of the fire spreading to residential buildings. Additional footage featured horrified customers being flung to the ground in retail stores and water pipes bursting, causing flooding at a train station. As millions of Japanese people gathered at temples to celebrate the new year, an earthquake occurred. According to Japan's Meteorological Bureau, the 7.6 magnitude earthquake near the Noto Peninsula of Ishikawa Prefecture is the biggest ever recorded. Yoshimasa Hayashi, Japan's top cabinet secretary, stated that there have been at least six recorded instances of houses collapsing on occupants. Rescuers are currently searching through the wreckage of many houses in order to free the stranded residents. According to Hayashi, members of the Japanese military have been called up to assist with the rescue and evacuation operations. Although authorities stated that the situation is still unclear, no reports of fatalities or injuries have been verified as of yet. The meteorological agency first advised residents to prepare for waves as high as 5 meters, 16.4 feet, in response to the tremors, which sparked worries of a tsunami. Later, the major warning was reduced to a routine tsunami warning by officials. The first large waves were recorded at Wajima Port in Ishikawa Prefecture at 4.21 p.m. local time, just as darkness descended on the area, according to the nation's meteorological service. Many more are predicted to arrive in the next few minutes and hours, along with lower-level tsunami alerts or advisories for the remainder of the western coast of the island of Honshu. A major tsunami warning was issued for Ishikawa NHK TV, the state broadcaster in Japan, also advised people to evacuate to high ground or to the top of surrounding structures. We understand that although your house and possessions are priceless, your life are the most important thing. Sprint to the highest point you can. An NHK television presenter advised viewers, the network said that the tsunami waves might keep coming back because warnings kept airing for almost an hour after the first one. Later, the threat level was reduced to a standard warning. According to Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, the Japanese government has established a special emergency center to collect information on the earthquakes and tsunami and promptly disseminate it to locals to safeguard their safety. However, the earthquake's effects were anticipated to extend beyond Japan. The local population was being evacuated, according to Russia's emergencies ministry, and portions of Sakhalin Island, which is located near Japan on the country's Pacific coast, were also in danger of a tsunami. This information was published by state news agency TASS. According to Yonhap News, which cited the North State Radio, North Korea has issued tsunami warnings for its east coast, stating that waves as high as 2.08 meters, 6.8 feet, could reach its shore. Additionally, the Meteorological Ministry for South Korea had earlier warned that following the tremors, sea levels would rise in some areas of the east coast's Gangwon province. According to the Ministry of Interior and Safety, the city of Samcheok recommended its citizens to relocate to places higher up than a three-story structure. Later in the day, the Japanese government will hold a press conference. However, details about any damage sustained are still pending. The road operator reported that in addition to the suspension of Shinkansen bullet train services between Tokyo and the epicenter in the Noto district of Ishikawa Prefecture on the Sea of Japan, side of Japan's main island of Honshu, several major highways were closed. Local utilities estimate that over 33,500 households on Honshu's western coast were left without power. A convenience shop employee in Ishikawa Prefecture named Takashi Wakabayashi reported that while some things had fallen off the shelves as a result of the earthquakes, the main issue was the large number of customers 
who had come to stock up on bread, rice balls, and bottled water. We have three times as many customers as usual, he remarked. Concerns about how the earthquake might impact Japan's coastal nuclear power reactors are growing. However, operators have attested that no problems have yet been found. According to government spokesman Yoshimasa Hayashi, it has been confirmed that there are no abnormalities at Shika Nuclear Power Plant in Ishikawa and other stations as of now. Every minute matters. Please go right away and find a safe location, he continued. Numerous nuclear power facilities along the coastline that could be hit by tsunamis are operated by Hokuriku Electric Power, Tokyo Electric Power Co., and Kansai Electric Power. In the meantime, authorities in Gangwon Province, South Korea, issued an evacuation order to higher ground for inhabitants in case of a tsunami. Japan regularly conducts emergency drills to get ready for a large shock and has tight construction laws designed to ensure buildings can withstand powerful earthquakes. Special joints and concrete walls provide reinforcement to buildings, reducing stress during ground tremors. Skyscrapers, on the other hand, are constructed with elastic architecture or horizontal flexing and shock absorbers. However, the nation is still plagued by the memory of the enormous underwater 9.0 magnitude earthquake that struck northeastern Japan in March 2011 and caused a tsunami that killed or left about 18,500 people missing. At the Fukushima nuclear facility, the 2011 tsunami also caused the most catastrophic nuclear accident since Chernobyl and the biggest post-war disaster in Japanese history, resulting in the meltdown of three reactors Three people were killed after a 7.4 magnitude earthquake off at the coast of Fukushima jolted a vast portion of eastern Japan in March 2022. A massive earthquake that struck in 1923 completely destroyed Tokyo, the nation's capital. Although it is impossible to forecast with certainty where and when an earthquake will occur, we do know that the worst places for them to occur are along Earth's plate boundaries, and a large portion of Japan lies across one of these boundaries. The major island of Japan, Honshu, is situated where the Eurasian, Philippine, and North American tectonic plates converge. Natural disaster exercises are a kindergarten curriculum in Japan, and every Japanese mobile phone has an earthquake alert system that may allow users to find shelter in 5 to 10 seconds before the quake hits.